and today I'll be trying out this app called Spark. It was created by a YouTuber called Mariah Elizabeth, and I like watching her videos because she is very creative and fun to watch. So anyways, she came up with this app and I wanted to try out because it involves art and I like art. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of an art channel <laughs> with crafting that time as well. So yeah, here I am just drawing my avatar for my Spark profile because apparently you get to draw them. Since this is my first time using Spark, I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out as I go. So my first few creations aren't the best. I, I still don't know how you Spark. But by the voiceover that I'm doing. I actually did a lot more creations now than in this video because I've been going on Spark kinda daily, not really. Not only that, but you can also create your own Spark. So if you don't like any option, you can click the plus sign at the bottom and make your own Spark saying, oh, this is my OC or something like that. And you draw your OC. I'm just drawing my persona for the avatar because I mean this is my spark so might as well draw my avatar and <laughs> it makes sense now I am outlining I actually never really draw like this because normally always I draw the line out first and then I color in but since this is more like for fun and that there's no layers so you have if you want like an outline, it's best to do it by shape and then outline it because if you outline it first, you color over the line up. After all, this isn't exactly a, a app. Like it's more like doodle app, if that makes sense. Like you can make really good drawings in that. Don't get me wrong with that because I've seen people on here and, they, and I'm just like how did you do that but yeah you you just have to draw differently than normal I, I was having the problem with that because I normally always draw line out first and not shape but it is actually really fun to use it is hard to try and do it shapes and then line out since that's something I don't do at all. <laughs> Plus I'm having the trouble of making my line smooth on here. So I have to like zoom up close to try and get a better smooth line. Because if I try to do, if I try to draw a line that is like zoomed out, it becomes all wavy in that, which it's kind of a problem. So this isn't like my best drawing or anything. It's like simple with no shading because since I started using Spark, I didn't know what I was doing. trying to draw the eyes the funny thing is my eyes are the most detailed throughout this whole <laughs> drawing <laughs> because i i normally draw the eyes i normally draw yeah i wanted to do stars in my eyes but i couldn't really do that so this is me drawing the eyes normally although i 
do actually blend it and when I draw my eyes. But since this is my first time, I tried to draw the eyes how I normally draw them without blending. So yeah. This is why my eyes are most details because there's actually shading and highlight, which is the only part of this drawing with shading and highlight. And here me adding my freckles because I have like freckles and I didn't like them on my arms. Attempting to fix up the nose. This is the event with giant beaver tail, so I I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so this was the one where I was kind of just playing around because I never used spark before so this is my first actual spark creation so this was my attempt at making it so yeah i just drew the beaver tail what it normally looks like Just cleaning up the edges because it went over. detail to the tail because this seems correct I don't know what a beaver tail actually looks like <laughs> I think it looks like this apparently I, I doubt I actually seen a beaver tail in real life if I have I don't remember but yeah this is my attempt of drawing a beaver's tail <laughs> I really don't like this one because I don't think it turned out good at all. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I do a pink Tuta plush. This is because one time I was at Wama as a kid and I was trying to find a Ninja Tuta plush but I couldn't find anything. And then I found a pink Tuta plush. And I'm like, it's a turtle. So I asked for it because it was a turtle. I actually still have that. So this is was when I realized, oh, I can pick a background. So yeah, I picked a background and then I drew a pony. I didn't know what p kind of pony it was, so I just put pony on the banner. <laughs> Attempting to draw a gome on it. No, it's called gnome, isn't it? The, the G silent. So this is a, me attempting to draw a gnome. I never drew one before. <laughs> Another one because you need more than one for a party. I mean, you could have a party by yourself, but that's probably a very sad party. <laughs> I didn't know how I wanted the lights. And he's throwing sparkles around a glitter. I don't know. Gnomes are magical creatures, apparently. <laughs> I I'm saying they're magical creatures. I don't know if that's true. And then. I did decided to draw a girl gnome because I do both male gnomes. <laughs> looking at other people's stuff. That one, 
I was like, what? And my favorite color is blue, so that caught my attention. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye!